Clients have used origami for anonymous incident collection for a long time. But why only incidents? Origami tracks tons of stuff, even custom entities, depending on what a client needs. Now you can set up a custom risk management portal for the field to enter whatever you might need. Perhaps you want to collect employee incidents, but you also get phone calls for cert requests, and you have a huge number of locations that changes all the time. Who can keep track? It'd be nice for the field to let you know about new locations. And maybe you'd like a way for people to report unsafe practices anonymously. Something like this. How do you create this in origami? Well, it's simple. Click the admin link and go to anonymous collection links. Here you see we've set up a few incident collection pilot sites in Atlanta and Chicago, but we've also created what we're calling the ACME portal. Let's take a look at it. Here are the details for this portal. A name and a description, it's active, and you select a user because this drives what forms and what permissions the portal will have. And you define the welcome page. This can be whatever you want, images, links, etc. And you notice it says click one of the buttons below to begin. Okay, how do you create the buttons? Each anonymous collection has one or more, typically more, collection link items. Each one of these becomes a button on your portal. So let's take a look at them. We've got reporting an employee injury. This will use the regular incident form and you get a thank you page and you can decide if they can attach files or not. Same thing with cert requests, location requests, and unsafe practices. Each one gets its own custom thank you page. So what does this look like in practice? Like regular incident collection, there's a URL that directs you straight to that portal without having to log in. You can put that link right on your intranet page. And that link brings you right to here. If you report an injury, this brings up an incident form that's customizable. If you're requesting a certificate of insurance, maybe you just need the person's name and email and why. If they're reporting a new location, you want some details about the location. And to report an unsafe practice, maybe you really just need to know what's going on and where with some text to assure the person that this is completely confidential. And just like everything else in origami, you can design custom workflows for each of these items. So let's say a user reports a new location. So field guy comes here and can report that we've acquired a new location in Brooklyn. Click save, boom, it's done. But now let's take a look at the workflows built in behind the scenes. Here you see the data entry event page filtered just for location requests. And you see we have two events for this sort of thing. Here you see when we add a location report, we're going to email the property manager. Let's take a look at this one. The event trigger is simply when one is added, there's no filter. Every time one is added, there's an email. Goes to the property manager, which in this case is me, and just simply says a new location request has been submitted, check it out, and gives you the link. So that event fired, I got the email, and I clicked the link. I was already logged in, so it takes me right to the location report. I see the information, but we don't want locations to just be added to origami by anybody without even any sort of approval process. So we built in a workflow for the property manager, again me, to approve it and optionally specify which location folder it belongs to. So now I click Save Changes. Now the other event was on Edit when it's approved, actually generate the actual location in origami. Let's take a look at it. So in this case, the event condition is approved is true. Well, now it's true because I just checked it. And we have a script that generates the actual location. And it looks like it just happened. So I should be able to go to locations. And find my brand new location, Main Street, Brooklyn. That's how easy it is to create a custom risk management portal with custom workflows with no additional programming in Origami Risk.